This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Stella Inger. A 30-year-old Tucson man is awaiting extradition to Florida after detectives say he tried to bring a 13-year-old girl to Tucson to be his sex slave. Officials say he sent the girl pornographic images of himself, soliciting her to perform sexual acts and telling her uh, how to purchase bus tickets. When the girl's parents reported her missing late last month, Polk County Sheriff's officials in Florida found bus tickets with Doc's name on them. She was set to leave Florida July 31st and arrive in Tucson August 2nd. Officials posed as the girl and continued talking to Doc, eventually flying to Arizona to interview him. Doc is facing 13 charges in Polk County, Florida and child pornography charges here in Tucson. And a pedestrian has died after being hit by a car last night. Officials say it happened near Speedway and Country Club. The driver stayed on scene, cooperated with police. The victim is the 16th pedestrian killed on Tucson roads this year. And a brush fire burning near Tubac is covering 120 acres in the Santa Rita Mountains. Crews from the U.S. Forest Service and Tubac Fire District are working to contain the flames. According to Nogales International, the fire was reported last Thursday, but because it was so small, Forest Service officials did not send crews out until this morning. So far, no structures have been threatened. And Kyler is taking a look outside, an active day, and I can hear uh, your alerts going off right yes. now. We've had a lot of weather around here, and Stella, this was the scene Tuesday afternoon across the Tucson metro area. Take a look at this time lapse. Thunderstorms developed to the south of Tucson and uh, grew to the point where they blew a lot of dust over the region. We've got more of that on the way in the forecast. An active few days as we head on into the end of the week and the weekend. Scattered showers and thunderstorms, a good bet each and every day with highs finally backing off a little bit. In fact, staying in the 90s through the weekend and only 91 on Thursday. Kyler, thank you and thank you for tuning in. I'm Stella Inger for KGA 9 on your side.